wow, I'm so proud. Really, the real life project in front of me is just the one, the same, I designed in 3D. And it really works, the movement is so smooth. I decide to think out of the box and I'm the first one ever to design something like this with the car pistons. So we need to think about the method to lift up and down the blade sticking out from the table and yeah maybe i will use a jack from a car but we will see it later now let's concentrate instead on the angle so the inclination of the blade itself very often we need to cut angles with the blade so we need to find a way to incline the blade itself very precisely so there's another problem here we need to find a pivot point where all the mechanism has to pivot so just imagine the blade sticking under the table we can put and place a pivot point right here but you can clearly see that the blade itself moves so much on the right and on the left which means we need to cut a slot here in the table so that is pretty huge because the blade has to move so much so we need to change position of the pivot point we can place it for example much closer to the blade right here in the middle but you can see that here also we have a much huge gap we need to cut in the table saw itself but we don't need that we need to have very small gap so it's much easier also to work on the table itself so the solution is to place the pivot point just right here where the blade sticks out from the table itself so this is the best position and you can clearly see and imagine that the gap we need to cut in the table is minimal so this is the solution i'm going to stick with this project and think a way to go like this but there's another problem if you watch carefully the pivot point on the table so there's a problem it sticks outside from the table you can see it just right here and these red pivot points are in the way so this isn't the solution the solution is another one we need to make ourselves circles that has the center point this for example are a little bit, too, little bit too low i have the pivot point just where i told you so where this blade sticks out of the table and this is the solution so we don't have anything in the way so let's build everything but first let's get started and build the arms that can hold these circles so metal arms very strong ones
e anche il legno duro non ha problemi cambiamo inclinazione a 45 e vediamo un po' come si comporta questa lama Wow, I'm so happy on the result of this table. It's, it came out so heavy, so sturdy. It, it reduced all vibration of the saw itself. So I will keep it for all my life for sure. And I'm so happy on how precisely I can regulate the angle of the blade. And I can also lift up the arm of the blade without problems. Maybe it's a bit uncomfortable because I have to almost lay down on the ground, but I can solve this with some bicycle chain, some gears, so this doesn't scare me, I will make an improvement next week. And I also need to add two other things. I'm talking about a blade that can hold the pieces straight. I modified the other table I used to build everything. I lift it up with, with some new wheels so they have the same precise height. And I have a much huge now table that I can use also to cut huge panels together. I was telling you I need to make another modification i just bought this it is a ruler it's a metal one i need to weld it on the table so that i have all measurements ready to cut without problems so yeah these basically are the two mods i have to make to this table but overall i'm pretty happy on the result so if you enjoyed the project let me know here in the comments below and let me know uh, as well if you enjoy this asmr yeah, you know what I mean. ASMR, <laughs> this sound, only sound video without over, over voice, voiceover. Yeah, let me know. See you next week in another video. Ciao, ciao.